you my Joanna and Gaines junkies and welcome back to this week's video. If this is your first time here on my channel, hi, I'm Justin. On my channel we do a lot of DIY projects, home decor hauls, and home renovation updates on our own personal fixer up here, here in South Texas. Now this week I have three exciting things to share with you guys before we get on into this home decor haul. First off, we hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys, thank you guys, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and you know, sharing all your thoughts on my content. I am so excited, like I really don't even know what all to say. But two, the company Farmhouse Wares, which is an online home decor store with farmhouse decor and other cool vintage replicas, contacted me to review one of their products. And so I'm gonna review it, tell you guys if I like it, if I don't like it, which I already love them, so I know I'm gonna like it. And then it's gonna be a giveaway to give back to one of you guys. So make sure you stay tuned and listen to the video on how to enter into this awesome contest. And three is this multi-channel collaboration that I was telling you guys about in last week in our DIY cake stand video. And you know, what's neat about this, it's a whole bunch of farmhouse decor YouTubers. We all got together. We actually already were all subscribed to each other. We love each other's channels. And so this week is this collaboration. And the person that I'm shouting out is my dear friend, Kim. She's an awesome mom. She loves farmhouse decor just as much as we do. And here, I'll let her introduce herself. Kim from My Feather Nest. And if you enjoy an eclectic mix of videos, from hauls, from places like Hobby Lobby to thrift stores, as well as Dollar Tree. And if you love home decor as much as me, and also coming soon, some clothing try-on hauls, then go ahead and stop by my channel and hang out with me for a little bit. Thanks, guys. I know, she is awesome. Make sure you check out her latest DIY project, which is a terracotta pot and succulent wreath that she made. She literally blew my mind. I fell in love with it. But anyways, guys, I'll link her channel down below, and let's get started in this week's video. Now, the first item to start this haul is actually the item that is going to be a giveaway for you guys, so make sure you keep watching so you all guys can enter into this contest with myself and Farmhouse Wares. Now, what I love about these, these are herb garden planters, and what they do is they tower up. You can put them on a wall, so we have... Rose are thyme, rosemary, they actually neatly fit inside each other, and the other two are sage, and the last one I believe is parsley, yes. So the cool thing about these, and I'll show you guys, is you can either mount these on a wall, you can put them in your kitchen, your laundry room, outside, you know, if you put them in your kitchen, you could actually have an inside herb garden, which is what I'm gonna do with the items once our kitchen is finished. I totally love that idea. You know, you could put these in your laundry room to organize your different soaps or laundry detergents, whatever, they, these easily hang on the wall. They have metal hangers. Or if you know you wanted to use them as a decor uh, thing for your exterior of your home, maybe by a little she shed or shop or whatever, you could organize, you know, gardening tools or you could do like an herb garden, you could do succulents, you know, it's, you can really do whatever you want with these items. I totally love them. They are real wood. It looks and feels probably like a pine that has a light stain on it. And then the letters are actually pressed in and painted. So I really like the texture of the way it feels. I am totally happy with this item and I can't wait to give it back to one of you guys. Okay, so the next two items in this decor haul are these massive concrete urns that I found at Tuesday mornings for $69.99. Now, the reason I bought these two items were the fact that in our fixed upper house that we're fixing up for ourselves, uh, on the front porch it has two big pedestals at the beginning or footer of the step, and I just love them, and I thought, you know, if I could find some black cast iron urns to sit on there, I would be in love. But the problem is, I was finding them, but they were starting at a minimum of $300 each, so I could not find myself to spend that much money. So this might be an upcoming DIY or tutorial video for you guys, because I want to transform these concrete urns into what our replica look alike cast iron urns. When I, you guys are interested in something like this, make sure you comment down below if you're like me and you want to save some money and maybe get these guys for your front porch. 
Now I told you guys in my Magnolia Market replica cake stand that I was going to show you guys how I was going to use this item in my home. And so I purchased this cloche off of Amazon. I will be sure to link it down below. And so I saw Jillian at Pari Family Vlogs, I believe it was you, I saw somewhere on YouTube, someone doing this exact same thing with the moss rocks that I picked up in a previous decor haul. Now, I only got one set, but I'm kind of regretting it now, so I think I'm going to try to go to Michael's and find one more set to kind of complete this look. I love how it kind of cascades a lot taller than the platform of the cake stand. I think it looks a little whimsical, but I love this item, and I can't wait to display it in my home. Y'all, this next item is from Decor Stills, and I am in love with it. It is a farmhouse steeple style lantern, and it was only $29.99. Now, when I tell you guys, I wish y'all would subscribe to their, you know, email list, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Stuff like this is on there every single day. I love the texture of this lantern. I love the curvature, the curvature of, you know, the sides and it lifts up and you can actually put a candle in there. Like I seriously just wish y'all could like reach y'all's hands through y'all's devices and feel this and just see it more up close. Like I feel like video quality cannot capture how beautiful this piece is. Now these next two items I actually purchased off of Farmhouse Wear's website before they actually contacted me about making this sponsored video. So I felt like this is kind of ironic that we're actually finally working together. But there are these gorgeous tobacco baskets. Now this is the smaller one. They're woven, you know, the crops and different uh, tobacco would have been collected in these baskets. What I see people do with these is put wreaths inside of them, hang pictures inside of them. You know, you could use them vertically on a wall or you could honestly, you could put them on a shelf or you could put them on, uh, you know, a table as a centerpiece. I don't know. I just love them. It has that natural burn look that was added to them. You know, it has the gray weathered look. You know, I've even seen where people like stack them like this and, you know, you put something inside of it. it they're just so gorgeous. Now, these were $72.95, I believe, off their website. And I will link them down below if they are still in stock. And if not, make sure to check back in the next couple weeks because they will sell out of items and then they'll restock them back up. That's what I love about farmhouse wares compared to antique farmhouse and decor stills where it really makes you impulsively buy. You know, sometimes I don't always like that impulsive feeling without thinking about it first. But yeah, let's move on to the next item. All right, this next item is a beautiful 72 inch long vintage antique ladder that I fell in love with when I first saw it. You know, I had been looking for something like this to create a blanket ladder. So when I created my farmhouse chandelier, which I used a ladder out of, I'll link it above. So if you're new to my channel, you can check it out. I came across this one and I contacted the sellers and I fell in love. They sent me a picture of it and I was totally excited. What I like about these ladders is that you could add on at least two to three blankets to bring in maybe some contrasting colors to either your walls or whatever room that you're going to put it in. I even think I might add a beautiful wreath on top next to the uh, hardware that it has on it. I don't know. The possibilities are endless, guys. Now the next item, or I should say items, are these three rolling pins that are actually vintage antiques and I just love them. In our kitchen, which is obviously going to be a farmhouse style kitchen, I'm trying to collect like rolling pins and utensils that I can like tower up or display in different metal baskets or different vintage containers. I don't know. I'm just so excited. The larger one I picked up for $14.50, which is probably a little pricey, but I hadn't been seeing any of them out or around. And then these two smaller ones, which were $10 each, I just love how they're just naturally messed up, distressed, and yeah, let's move on to the next item. All right, so the next item on this decor haul are these two metal baskets that I picked up from Antique Farmhouse. 
I love them. I love the natural rusting look, the, you know, the white distress chippiness as if these were outside. The smaller one I think would be great to put like onto a wall and have like some type of floral bouquet inside of it, maybe some stems of lavender. I just think it'd be a cool little gallery wall type thing to put up. And the other one, which is the larger one, is I think a great summer farmhouse decor way to throw in some ice and throw in your favorite drinks and to keep them cold on top of like a picnic table. I think this is totally cute. You know, you can do other things. I've seen other people um, on different forms of social media. They'll put, you know, tree branches into them and put them next to their fireplace. You know, you could store different things inside of here or use it for a large display with a whole bunch of different sizes of white candles and have different fillers. You could play around and have so much fun with these guys. I believe that I spent, because I could not find the receipt for this item, I believe I spent $35 to $40 for the set of two off of Antique Farmhouse. But yeah, let's go on to the next item. Guys, holy freaking dull bowl. Isn't this thing beautiful? It is so textured. I love the kind of wonky shape that it has. But what I love to do with these guys, and I had a smaller one in our old house, but you know, go big or go home. So I saw this online and I just had to buy it. What I did with it in my old house, and I don't know if I'm gonna do the same thing in our new house, is I actually got coffee beans and filled it up and then had like, we always buy candles and burn them in our house because we love the smell of just like different scents burning through our home. So I put a candle in the center, set it on our coffee table. I'm sure I might put this on our coffee table, but I don't know if I might try something up or look up something different that I can find on Pinterest. I bought this from a company online called Home Decorators Collection. Now before, I think they used to be an independent company, but now they're somehow associated with Home Depot. So if you want to find one of these guys, you know, it's real wood, it's really heavy. Um, it was $89.99 and yeah, let's move on to our next item. All right guys, so this last item is probably one of my top three favorites from this decor haul, and it is a replica cast iron patio table, cafe table, bistro table, whatever you wanna call it. And I have seen this item on Antique Farmhouse probably three, four, five, six times since I've discovered the website, maybe about a year and a half ago, and I always would see it, I'd put it in my cart, and I just couldn't, couldn't purchase it because it was $246. But then when I started looking around because I've been wanting something like this, you know, the regular, you know, hardware store type tables like this are the same exact price if not more. And I just love this table, how distressed it was and how the patina of it and the shape, like the chairs are have this like rounded top and you know, it's just made to look old and vintage. So we are gonna put this on our outside soon to be exterior flagstone patio that we're doing on our renovation house. So, and when that is done, we're gonna put it outside and show you guys. All right, now is the fun part for you guys. It's the giveaway. All you have to do to enter is make sure you're subscribed to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and also let me know in the comment section how you would use these herb garden boxes in your home. If you're not sure, then go onto Farmhousewares website. It's www.farmhousewares.com. Find your favorite item, leave it in the comment section down below, and let me know how you would use it in your home. Until next time, bye guys! Bye.